Salutations all you end users and bell ends. This is Upstairs Iowa, an ongoing series that examines Iowa artists on and off stage. On this route to your episode, we drink in the stripped down style of Buzz Owen. Buzz, a Marshalltown native and entrepreneur who has played in numerous central Iowa bands over the years, such as the Vanden Arms. These days, when Buzz isn't up to his gills operating his numerous businesses, he takes solace making music that appeals to his folk and roots ethos, which he credits to growing up in smaller town Iowa. His latest record, From Hell to Arkansas, is available on his Bandcamp. Awesome socks. Yeah. I want to show mine off too. Yeah, let's do that. We got the boot <laughs> shot. <laughs> Having grown up in Marshalltown, uh, were you around or involved in a lot of that vibrant music scene of like the early 2000s that was happening around here? Yes. Yeah, we uh, uh, spent many nights in the Coliseum Blue Room here where we hosted those shows. I was about, uh, I was one of the young pups, about two or three years behind. Uh, all those guys that kind of started the scene, so I got involved in it. Yeah, we were in it. I, I wouldn't be playing music probably today if it wasn't for those days. It was like like Safety Second, and of course like Modern Life Is War, and yep, Ill Fated. Yeah, yeah. What bands did you play in? Uh, so I did uh, with my friends. We were in a band called Sworn Allegiance way back in high school. I was the drummer for that band. Sounds very new metally. Yeah, we weren't at all. We were like ska punk. <laughs> uh, we were like mustard plug meets uh, like Operation Ivy, and uh, very good. Yeah, we were awesome. Uh, and then after high school, uh, I got in uh, in a band with uh, actually Ben Driscoll, John Ike, and Chris Honick, and we started. Uh, oh, it ended up being all rattle and dust. What was it? Rocks and Rooftops was the name of it, and uh, we were kind of a blues punk band. Um, and then John Ike and Chris Honick ended up doing something else musically. I, I don't remember <laughs> what, but um, so then I, here I am kind of bouncing from band to band through my early 20s and uh, ended up playing by myself most of the time. Yeah. Owning and operating the several businesses that you do up here, uh, is it a challenge to carve out time anymore to create and perform your own music? Yes. Oh, big challenge. Um, you know, but I, I kind of—it all kind of goes hand in hand, I think, because it's um, we we own um, uh, four businesses, and they're all kind of in the recreation, hospitality industry, and uh, uh, a couple of them were, were kind of startups. Others were uh, uh, we bought and, and kind of continued uh, continued the business. But in each one, we kind of put our own stamp on it, and I think um, I kind of put this together the other day that I think we're both my wife and I are um, driven by creation. Like we love uh, creating, whether it's music or art or food. 
um, or just an atmosphere that, uh, you know, her strong suit is, is designed. So like the atmosphere you walk into in one of our businesses is always a little bit different. So I always find that, that I always fill that, that cup of, of uh, creativity with that. Um, but then in, yeah, my downtime, uh, I, I switch to music and there's definitely sprints of where you're, we got to work a lot being entrepreneurs and, and really just uh, a lot of times just the two of us. And, uh, but then uh, we also get some downtimes where we can kind of set our, you know, busy times of the year. Like right now, we're in a full-on sprint, just working like crazy. But hopefully by uh, uh, late spring, I'll have some free time where I can either play music and fish and, and kind of uh, start writing on writing music again. Many people from Marshalltown and the surrounding area uh, have spent a lot of time recovering from the devastating tornadoes uh, that occurred in the summer of 2018. How did that experience affect you and what did you learn from it? Oh, well, I, um, I don't recommend it. It, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was awful. Um, it affected two of our businesses and uh, we actually had a, like a 60-year-old oak tree um, crash through our house. Yeah, and uh, it for it's still not normal. Uh, we're still recovering. Nothing, nothing's normal yet. But there was a span of about four months that uh, it just felt like our world was was turned upside down. And, and um, our our we own a pizzeria here in town, and that pizzeria was closed for for nine weeks. And that was always our kind of safe spot that we enjoyed working. And, and uh, we go and we we still have plywood ceilings in, in parts of our house that uh, just haven't been repaired yet. And then winter snuck up on us. So. Um, it, it was it was awful and and, and I f actually was able to find an outlet that helped me a lot through I mean uh, well through songwriting and I was able to get a lot of these kind of emotions out and normally I don't write 
a, a lot of depressing stuff, but I kind of found myself going a little bit more down a darker road with some a couple of tunes, and I kind of just wrote them, put them out there, and then I'm I'm ready to go back to kind of playing more of the upbeat, kind of uh, old timey stuff that I'm doing. So uh, Ryan Steer, who we've had on the show before, <laughs> uh, Extra Vision River Monks. Uh, once told me the banjo is superior to guitar. Do you agree or disagree? Oh, absolutely agree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is good. I, I love actually the idea that I could walk into a room, especially in a small town, and I could. I'm chances are I'm like at least the top like top three best banjo players in the room at any time. You know, because it's kind of a weird, especially right. my style. I play claw hammer uh, versus a uh, like a scrug style or three finger style, um, which is a little more old timey. Um, and I, I guess I kind of picked that up because I really like the sound of it, but uh, I, I'm also like to do things way differently. So if everyone else is playing three finger, then I'm going to be like, no, I'm going to find another way to play. So. <laughs> If I had the money, honey, then I'd pay the rent I ain't got the dollars nor the cents Going to station, gonna move on down the line If it wasn't for the work, I'd have the time if you call my number, calling me a fool Turn around, come back home to you Well, don't you ask what you don't want to know I'm not the kind of man that's got nowhere to go So I won't waste your time unless you choose to waste mine You bought that old line, I'm all right Going down, going down, going down below All my intentions paved this road I ain't saying that I'm leaving, just saying I can't stay I'm in no hurry, but I can't wait but Don't you ask, but you don't want to know I'm not the kind of man Got nowhere to go, so I won't waste your time unless you choose to waste mine. You bought that old line where I say that I'm fine, but you know that I'm lying. I'm all right. We would like to thank Buzz Owen for not only being today's guest, but for being our host and allowing us to film at his fiddle and whistle Irish bar located at 20 West Main in Marshalltown, Iowa. For more Upstairs Iowa episodes, extended play, and spiritual enlightenment, subscribe to the Transpirators YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook channels. We want to thank you for watching, reminding you that the bed is the poor man's opera, and as always, stay plugged in. For I'll catch the midnight train, my sins have overtaken me. Pair me down, my bottle of corn, blow hand me down, my bottle of corn. How many drugs shows you are born? My sins have overtaken me. I got high, not land in jail. Yes, I did. I got high, not land in jail. I got high, not land in jail. Ain't no one to go my bail. My sins have overtaken me.
Tennessee.